Hi, this is Craig with Follett, and today we're going to be working on changing out the fail-safe solenoid for a 7 and 15 series ice water dispenser. The tools we'll be using for this is going to be a set of gloves, safety goggles, a John Guest wrench, pliers, needle nose pliers, Phillips head screwdriver, and a 3 16 inch nut driver. Okay, in preparation for this, I've de-energized the unit by unplugging it from the wall outlet, and I've also disconnected the water supply to the unit. The first step will be to remove the front facade and the side panels, starting with the ice dispense chute cover. Next, we'll remove the drain pan so we can get access to the retaining screws located on the right and left head side behind the drain pan. We'll remove the two screws once we lift the facade free of the frame, we'll want to disconnect the wire harness from the user interface. So we'll undo that cable and we'll also take the water lines off of the water dispense outlet. Okay, you can slide the top cover back and pull that off as well. There's two screws on each side panel that hold the panel in place and it snaps in from the rear. We're going to remove these two screws on each side panel and remove the side panels. We've removed the water inlet connector from the back of the solenoid. There are six screws holding the back panel in place and we're going to back these six screws out and remove the back panel. The solenoid is held in place on this bracket by two screws and we'll have to remove those screws to get access to the solenoid. With the screws removed, the solenoid will just back out of the bracket and you'll gain access to it from the rear of the machine. And then we can determine the wire connections in the John Guest water fitting. Okay, with our replacement solenoid, we're just going to connect the water supply and the AC power. It's AC, so it's not polarity sensitive, so it doesn't matter which terminal you put the leads on to the solenoid and we'll put the solenoid back into place and insert the screws. Now that we have the solenoid back in place, now we'll want to make our water connection and test, uh, plug it in for power and test to make sure that there's no leaks.